Shell is basically about a father and daughter who live in a very remote part of Scotland and Highlands and um, and they've lived up there for all of her life. Um, his, her mother's left a long time ago when she was very young so they've been on their own for a long time and basically she's reaching an age, she's 17, where you know it's suddenly becoming slightly unnatural for them to cohabit in the same way that they, in, they have. Um, and it's, they're basically both at kind of crisis points. Hers is about her, her life be taking beginning, and his is, is a different story of like a life coming towards its end in a way. I imagine Shell and her father had quite a, a happy relationship as she was growing up, um, or at least happier than it is now. I think it's becoming difficult for him, or has become difficult for him since she's um, developed into a woman and is now reminding him of her mother who left him. And, I don't think he's ever gotten over that. Um, and it's difficult for Shell because that sense of isolation, the thing that her mother escaped, um, that, 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 couldn't, um, that couldn't sustain her, I think Shell is now experiencing. She's, she's both isolated by the landscape and by a, a life serving people fuel in order for them to move on with their lives while she can't move on with her own and she's also isolated by, by the way that her father is withdrawing from her or has withdrawn from her. You want to go for a drive? I can't just leave whenever I like. Why not? Well, the, the preparation was basically about us living together as two people who never, well we had met once or, t no we've met twice, but each, when we've met it was once in an audition and once to be like, oh, hello, <laughs> um, some costume fitting or something. They went up and lived in the Highlands together for a week. I was there, but separately. It was more about giving them time to kind of get to know one another and uh, get comfortable with one another and kind of have their first argument and kind of get past that, getting to know you stage, get past that kind of polite stage. And, um, and also to kind of soak in the environment and the, the, the landscape and sort of get a sense of how that would affect you. Um, and I think that was really important that they did that. We didn't really work on the script that much when we were there. We mostly just kind of like chatted and went for walks and so it's a bit strange at first, so, you know, but it was, uh, but it was good. It was a worthwhile experience. And, and also just being in that landscape, like being cut off with no phone signal, nothing like that. Like there's just nothing up there. And that, it, you know, that's the, the habitat that these people are in. So that was to get into that rhythm of life. That was also really helpful. The landscape uh, is like a character. Uh, in, it, in itself and it's extremely beautiful, extremely bleak, extremely lonely and isolating and it sort of mirrors what these two characters are feeling internally and because they say so little, especially to each other, um, the, the landscape, even the changes in, in, in weather and, and, and colour and sound all seem to help to evoke kind of what these characters were going through um, without dialogue. The thing with Shell is I think she's very, she's got this kind of heightened awareness of what's going on around her, a bit like an animal of some sort because she's lived in this place for so long. But at the same time, she's completely unaware of the effect that she has on other people. She's, she's longing for something and she doesn't know what that is. And she's probably quite afraid of it. Um, and then a lot of her feelings are wrapped up in towards like her dad and everything she knows is connected to her dad and starting to see cracks in that and being afraid of those cracks and you know that's the kind of thing that's going on there I think. It's actually a really big deal to to be here. I think that the film is connecting with audiences out with Scotland although in some in some ways it's a very Scottish story in some ways it's a very universal story. I think people from all over the world can relate to a story that's about isolation and loneliness but um, I am Scottish, I am a Scottish filmmaker and this is quite a Scottish story so it, it matters to me a lot what, what people here think of it and whether it connects with them in a kind of truthful way.